Hey everybody, my name is Matthew and we are back with another video. So we have another question today and today's question is brought to you by Little Murph. I love the name by the way. Uh, sounds like something that I would say to some of my friends. Uh, anyway, the question is, I've been watching your videos for some time now and I was wondering how you got so passionate about fitness. That's a great question, Little Murph. Um, it's actually, this started a long time ago for me. I was really, really young when I first got into fitness. I was into sports. Uh, baseball and basketball were huge for me. I played at a very high level and it's something that I really enjoyed. Uh, it kind of developed from there. I tried to get higher and higher level. Eventually, I ended up hurting myself and that's kind of what led me into the gym. Uh, taking that next step to help my well-being and try and keep myself from getting injured. So I went into the gym and started learning things one step at a time and it was something that I realized I really didn't know much about. So I ended up, when I went to university, I took kinesiology in university and I kept learning and when I finished school, I realized that personal training was something that I really loved. I started training when I was 19 years old, I continued it all the way through school and then when I finished, I didn't want to do anything else. I knew personal training was something that I wanted to spend the rest of my life doing and something that was going to allow me to help other people. I once had somebody ask me why they should take two years out of their life to commit it to working out and getting healthy when really it was just going to end up helping them live two years longer. What that person didn't understand was that this, ex this isn't about the extra two years. It has nothing to do with that. Yes, obviously it will increase your life expectancy, but the true benefit of working out is your increased quality of life. It's something that I can't really put into words. Your, everything about your life improves when you take good care of your body. I want to be able to run up the stairs without being out of breath. I want to be able to chase my kids around the house. I want to be able to carry boxes into the house without having to worry about throwing on my back. I want to be able to play with my kids and lift them up off the ground without throwing my back out. I want to be able to go on vacation knowing that I'm not going to get sick. I want to be able to, most importantly, I want to be able to grow old and feel like I'm 40 years old when I'm actually 70. And I really just want an increased quality of life. I don't want to grow old and be bedridden like most of North American society. I want to be the exception. What it really comes down to is that you only get one body. When your body gives out on you, you can't just go and replace it and it'll be fine. Uh, when you take care, good care of your body, your body works with better, you have a much lower chance of disease, you have a much lower chance of getting sick, you, and you have a much more active lifestyle, which eventually will snowball into an even more active lifestyle. One of the things I always say to my clients is think of your body as a car. What happens if you don't take your car and you get oil changes? What happens if you don't give your car the gas it's supposed to be taking? What happens if you don't take your car in for a tune? -up? What happens if you put junk food in your gas tank? You know what's going to happen? Your car's going to stop working. And that's the same thing with your body. If you do these things to your body, it's going to shut down on you. And if your body shuts down, you can't get another one. On top of all that, it's really about the clients. It's about seeing the look on their face when they accomplish something that they thought was impossible. It's about a 50 year old coming to you and saying, I'm in better shape than I was when I was 25 years old. I look better now than I did when I was 25 years old. And I can do things that I couldn't do when I was 25 years old. The, the idea of someone coming to you with tears in their eyes saying that, you know, you changed their life and they wouldn't be alive or they wouldn't be where they are today without you. Something like that, is, if that's not motivating you, then I don't know what would be. So I guess to answer your question, it's a combination of a lot of things. And it's kind of built into the profession. When you're around it so often and you see such motivating things all day, every day, it drives you to be passionate about what you're doing. It's something that I absolutely love doing and not only getting the results for myself, but also getting the results from other people and getting that assurance that I am making a difference, that's something that really drives me in what I do every day. So I hope that answers your question. 
Uh, if you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. I really love your guys' questions and comments. Uh, also, if you haven't already, like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Your subscriptions mean the world to me as well. Uh, be healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you all soon. Take care, guys. Have a great day.